Hi everyone and welcome to this short lesson on labelling theory and crime for GCSE sociology. Um, make sure you've got a pen and paper ready as we go through, a few little tasks for you to do, but let's crack on. First thing then, uh, year 10, or are you year 11 now? I don't know, year 10 or year 11, is you already know this, we've done labelling theory, um, we did this on education, so if you can cast your mind all the way back about six months or so, and we looked at how teachers give students labels and that sometimes that can lead to a self-fulfilling prophecy where students live up to their label and actually carry it out. Um, and we looked at the work of Howard Becker and Becker's work actually was not done in schools, it was done in deviant groups. So D uh, Becker believed that the same process applies to crime and deviance in wider society, that the label that the act is given can lead to more deviance through a self-fulfilling prophecy. So Becker believed that labelling actually causes deviance. First task, I've put an extract from the textbook on show my homework. Can you please use it to find the definitions of the following terms? So pause here and have a look at that, or you can do some Googling, I really don't mind. Um, what does it mean that deviance is a social construction? What do we mean by the term master status? What do we mean by deviant career? And what is a self-fulfilling prophecy? So a couple of those you should know, a couple are new. Make sure you've got a definition for each and then pick up on the next slide. So I've put together a little roadmap of how Becker argued that labelling can lead to deviance. So the first part of that process, the first stage, is that the act must be labelled as deviant. So remember, sociologists don't believe really that anything is deviant in itself. They believe it only becomes deviant when somebody says that it is, when somebody gives it a label. So that goes back all the way to the idea that deviance is a social construction and that deviance is relative. It depends who is doing it and where and when they are doing it and who they're with. So Becker argued that when an act is labelled as deviant, uh, the person committing the act is labelled as a deviant too. Uh, but that's very much a social construction. Becker also argued, and this is the same as when we looked at education, that when a person is given that label, they seek out other people with the same label. And that's when they're likely to join a deviant subculture. Humans inherently look for people who are similar to them for safety and security. So Becker argued that deviant people, uh, or people with a deviant label, I should say, seek out others with that label um, and form a subculture, a group with their own norms and values where that deviance is considered normal. Perhaps that person might go to prison, perhaps that person might have some form of punishment, but at some point they have to try to rejoin master society, uh, rejoin wider society. And Becker argued that it's very hard for people when they have a deviant label to get rid of it, that that label is still attached and it becomes what's known as their master status. So it doesn't matter if they're a mother, a father, a shop worker, um, a daughter, a son, um, a good friend. It doesn't, none of those other labels matter. What matters and what precedes everything else that they do is the fact that they have a deviant label. Um, and that label becomes their master status. It becomes the one that overreaches everything else and becomes the one that people see. So if you think of some criminals that have been in the newspapers um, or on TV, you think of them in terms of, oh, that person's a murderer. Oh, that person's a terrorist. You don't think of them as a parent or a child or a student or somebody who had a job and friends. Their status is defined to you by their deviant act. Because of that, uh, Becker argued that they may then struggle to get a job or they may struggle to conform in normal ways, I mean normal in inverted commas, because of their master status. So when people know that you have this status, your opportunities to be an upstanding, law-abiding, non-deviant member of the community are reduced um, because of your master status. 
So therefore, the person's self-identity, how they see themselves, becomes based around the deviant act and they return to that deviant subculture. So they are pushed into a deviant subculture even when they've tried to leave it, all because their label means that it's hard for them to get rid of that status, to get rid of that label. And therefore, because they are part of a deviant subculture, they give up on normal um, opportunities to conform, and therefore we get a deviant career, what Becker called uh, the process of taking forward your deviance. It becomes your way of life. Um, it becomes how you define yourself, how others define you, and it stays with you uh, for the future. So it becomes your way of life and it becomes the way that you live your life. So task number two, what I want you to do, and this is the last thing on today's lesson, go back to the roadmap the flowchart on the previous slide and I want you to fill in the gaps with a real life situation. So replace those, it doesn't have to be exactly the same number of boxes, but imagine that one person commits a deviant act how can that lead to a negative label? Who labels them? And how does it end up with a deviant career? So show the processes, show what they do, show what they try to do and how it works out for them. You can have any deviant act that you can think of that can lead to a deviant career. Um, an example might be that a teenager is caught carrying a knife, so they're labelled by the police. Maybe they get excluded from school. Maybe they get sent to a young offenders institution, something like that. And then when they try to conform, um, that record hangs over them and they're not able to. What's going to happen to them? So flesh it out a bit with a more detailed flowchart or a storyboard. It might be that a university student is arrested for dealing drugs and goes to prison for a while, something along those lines. Um, you can decide any deviant act you like, but storyboard it out for me. How can a deviant act being labelled lead to a deviant career? <laughs>